the star of Matrix Resurrections, Keanu Reeves. Um, now, you famously uh, do a fair amount of your own physical work mm. on your movies. What was the craziest thing? Because there were some crazy stunts yeah. in these movies. What's the craziest thing yeah. you, you got to slash had to do? Jump off a building. How big, how big of a building are we talking here? 40, I'm going to guess around 46 stories. Yeah. But really jump off the building? Yeah, well, yeah, jump off yeah, the so building. There's so much of the movie is digital. Why do they make you jump off a real building? <laughs> because it's Lana Wachowski and it's the Matrix and you need natural light and you want to do it real. I mean, there's wires. So anyway, so, yeah, Carrie Ann and I grab hands yes. and we leapt off a building. And how do you feel about heights? Uh, they get me a little, like, I don't know, what happens when you get old, when, you, when you're on heights and you start getting attracted to, like, wanting to jump? What is that? That is a, is, that is a reason to seek help. <laughs> How many times did you have to do it? Um, well, we wanted to do it in the perfect light in, in the morning, and so we did it, I, I would say, around 19, 20 times over the wow. course of two days. Wow! How did Carrie Ann feel about it? I mean, you know, to prepare for something like that, you just... I mean, she speaks a lot about kind of preparing mentally for it, and, and I was doing that, too. And, um, <laughs> and by the time you get there... Sure. I mean, my heart rate was a little raised, but then after the first time, you, you, can't, you can't think of the possibility... You can't think of the fear. You have to get... You have to block that. You, not block it, but deal with it, absorb it, and then just be there and do. And that's what we did. Be there and do. Yeah. And we did. And we did. Now, you did. And it was awesome. <laughs> Can you imagine just leaping off of a building? Have you ever bungee, have you ever bungee jumped or anything like that? I haven't. Oh, yeah. No, because I'm scared of that. I don't sure. Know that. <laughs> now, but 18 years from the last movie to this movie, how... No offense, yeah. and I don't mean to offend you, okay, but we're the ahead. same age. Cool. How does your body handle the kung fu 18 years later? <sighs> um, I love it. And I think because I love it so much, it doesn't matter. Oh, the question. Um, recovery. You have, to, you have to recover differently being old. A little bit longer recovery time? Yeah, yeah, you have to pay a little more attention to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a lot of attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> and and now, and I can't do what I used to, but I can still do what I do. And you know, with experience comes efficiency, and so you're more efficient. But you still, you know, but you want, you know, but you want to dance, and you want to play, and you want to sing, <laughs> and you want to like, you know. I know. I 100% know. You know. So yeah, I do. Yeah. So so whatever, man. <laughs> I didn't mean to bum you out. I I'm was just sorry, curious. No. I'm I apologize. I know. Okay, okay. now, one of, one of the characters, and I won't say who, one of the characters in, in the movie, fairly early on, says, nothing comforts anxiety like a little nostalgia, which is an interesting, you know, self-reference to people being so happy to see this, oh, well, this world. You know, I think it really is like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. I want to see how this gets explored yeah. again. Yeah. This is such an anxious period of time. How do you feel it about is. that idea that nostalgia actually comforts in moments of anxiety? I think it does. I think it can. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, I think it depends on what you're nostalgic. Well, I guess even being called nostalgia means that it's a positive experience, right? Because mm -hmm. otherwise it would be a, a bad memory. But sure, anyway, a flashback. I <laughs> a flashback what they call or something. Nostalgia. But um, yeah, I think it can bring comfort, and I think part of what I feel the film explores too is that with that passage of time, yes, you can be nostalgic, but then you're in your present, right? When you when you come out of that reverie, and then okay, so where am I now? What happened? How do I feel about that time? And then where I am now? Um, so that can start to cause a little anxiety, too, and then... Maybe. What do you do? People admire your worldview and how you sort of live your day uh, mm -hmm. on a daily basis. I'm curious what a... How does, how does Keanu Reeves uh, deal with anxiety? <sighs> Breathe. 
Yeah, Shoot. you gotta breathe. Uh, breathe. Activate the vagus nerve there. And <laughs> the vagus nerve. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, breathe. Um, try to figure out why are you afraid? What does that mean? And then um, try and, yeah, try to just be and, and let not what you're afraid of define the, the, the present that you hope to be in when you go do what you're afraid of. No, I'm on board. I don't know. I took the whole ride. I took the whole ride I'm on that so one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, there's so many. Or not. <laughs> just, just be afraid and just deal. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> just lean, just lean just into it. Lean I mean, into exactly. it. Exactly. And bite yeah. its head off. Anyway. Uh, sorry, did I say that? Anyway. Yeah, you can say bite its head off. Did you say a bad word? No. Well, we have to take another break, but stick around. We'll be right back with more Keanu Reeves.